Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I don't feel so good today, but I'm still going to do an extra video for you guys today. And um, we're on Quick Shell. We're on Hyperlint, in other words. And I got it working on Fedora. Let's do that classic thing where we do a... Uh, one second, let me actually just clear this out so it's my home folder. Uh, let's do a fast fetch, shall we? There we go. So as you can see, we're on Hyperlint. We're on Fedora. And we're using my Quickshell configuration. Now, believe it or not, I needed the help of Arch Linux to get this to work. I had to uh, basically take pre-compiled Arch Linux packages to install certain dependencies. So it was a bit messy. But I know how they're compiled. I know how they're worked. I know how they should be named and stuff. I know where they should go. So it would be pretty easy to port those dependencies over if I needed to. But here it is. It's almost fully working. The only thing that's not working is HyperSwitch, uh, which has been renamed to HyperShell. Now, of course, I had tried HyperShell, but it has some issues with Fedora where it just, the setup is all janky and weird and revised and I don't know. I just haven't learned the program enough to fully utilize getting into it. But I have changed uh, the Arch logos to Fedora logos because It'd be kind of weird not to. So there's that. There are some minor issues where CIDR will not open. And I think that has more to do with um, the way some of these icons were set. But if we open up Steam, Steam should run, right? No, it does not. Well, I know this does. Yeah. So some applications, they'll be a bit iffy. And that's fine, because I could just go and open them through here. This is why I built the start menu in the first place, to be an alternative method to the dock, in case anything ever gets stuck. Look how long it takes to open up Steam. Look at it. It's ridiculous. I do not know what they did to Fedora, but uh, here's some things they fixed since the release. So, there's a service called Thermold, and this is all part of the video. Oh, there it is. That took forever. Uh, system CTL status and thermals. I think that's it right there. Oh, that's not doing it because I forgot the M. And this helps control your temperatures, deal with things, lets you know stuff, right? It's a thermal daemon. Uh, now, they forgot to enable this originally when Fedora 42 was released, which makes it a serious problem so you don't know what your thermals are. Another thing is they forgot to set journals. That is still a problem. And there's a bunch of other issues that are still there. Uh, I'm not, like, good enough to go over them completely. They did not fix everything yet. There's... Some of the original problems that DJWare had are not fixed, but most should be, which is great. So um, as long as the thermal service is up and running, I'm happy. Now, my next wish is honestly that they would solve the Steam issue, because right now uh, Steam is not working for some people at all, which is one of the issues that I had. And I think it has to be, depending on what graphics cards you have, but again, we had issues where it wasn't exactly working the first time that we opened it. So I think it just may be that they broke Steam. And this is not like a permanent fix or anything. This is like a temporary solution until they find a real fix. So there's that. Uh, yeah. It's pretty weird. Imagine the one thing that people use most on Linux is broken. Or not working according to plan. Now... I have played Grand Theft Auto V. It's had no issues. There's some minor performance loss compared to Cache OS. That's about it. Star Lotion, The Last Hope, flawless. Sons of the Forest, perfect. RuneScape, absolutely wonderful. Dead Island 2, without a doubt, amazing. Guild Wars 2, which is technically the heaviest of them all and the lightest of them all, depending on certain situations, great. So... Believe it or not, this icon also does not work, which I find hilarious. But again, this is why we have the start menu. We go to multimedia. It's not there. Don't know why. 
system utilities yeah. development yeah i made a secondary one that does open so i've done some editing and i've used affinity photo to do some more stuff and of course we could just jump in and do editing and the cuda's there and the amd the nvidia drivers are working as you can see it's right there there's my 4070 for editing so all of that stuff seems to be pretty solid so far now the next update you're probably going to get this is on monday uh i'll update how it's going exactly and stability wise it's got some weirdness let's just state that so we all know what obs is okay when i'm on gnome and i try to snap it to this side right so let's say this what it would do is this uh one second it would do that and there would be this small blank area where the rest of the application should be but it's shrunken over to the side it's really weird now i showed this on stream last night because i find it very hilarious so i had this setup where i had obs on the top right and there was a blank space beside it and i had the chat on the bottom right and again i wanted to put something in that little blank space because it was clickable but nothing would work so uh, OBS is supposed to be taking up the entire position, but again, it doesn't, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, Alright, I know I'm going to get some questions. So first off, the theme I'm using is One Shell, and this is Oh My Posh, for Bash. So if I did CD... I was working on some stuff last night, wasn't I? Uh, yes, so if I did CD Hypershell... It would tell you right it's on release and that's pretty cool because it lets you know if you're working on a project or not if you're on the main branch master branch some other branch or somewhat like that it's pretty cool so if i cd out and i cd into white sir you can see uh, it says master that's the cool part about this oh uh, my posh it gives you all that customizability that you'll get with fish and other things too and uh it doesn't try to guess what I write, which is the most important thing. And it doesn't screw up my bash scripts, which is a majorly important thing. So yeah, there you go. Also, I used ML4W Hyperlind to actually get some extra applications, which is nice. So that really did help. All right, uh, just a quick video on how things are going with Fedora. Things are going fine so far. Again, hyper switch wouldn't work, hyper shell wouldn't work. They caused the key binds to stop working. So things like this, this is me pressing the middle mouse button down that they used to scroll with the little knob. That's how I move my windows around. I don't use a keyboard at all with hyperlit. So there's that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new here, like the video, stuff like that. And uh, check the first comment if you want to support me for all the work that I do uh, for pushing Linux the way that I do and teaching it. And I'll see you guys next time.